Hello, Ascot Elementary families. My name is Jennifer Jordan. The kids will call me Miss Jordan, and it's very nice to meet you here. Um, I wanted just to send you a quick video for your back to school afternoon to introduce myself. Um, I work for Education Through Music, and this year I get to be your little guy's music teacher. So the ETK, TK, Kinder, First, and Second, all of our little ones. Um, I'm very excited. It's my first year with Education to Music, but I've been teaching music for a long time. So I've got lots of great ideas. And, you know, one of the biggest things I think that we want to make sure about is that the kids are engaged. And so I'm going to do tons of interactives, lots of silly, lots of play. And while we're doing that, we're going to be singing and dancing and moving and talking about rhythm and steady beat and different kinds of instruments. Um, and using things around your home that you already have. And my biggest goal for children is to feel happy during music, to connect with music. And my job is to help them make music, make up music, and make sense of music. And so that's what we're gonna be doing all year long. Um, normally, I know that if we were together in person, we'd be demoing a little lesson for you. So I thought I'd give you just a tiny taste of what you might be able to expect when your kid is in music class with me. Um, this lesson would be for a, probably a kinder to first grade level. And one of the most important concepts in music is steady beat. We start with that, we reinforce it all throughout. And steady beat is that pulse of music. It's that repeated pulse, the same to itself. And you can think of it like um, windshield wiper blades, right? Ch, 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 ch. You can think of it like your heart, but um, but um. You can think of it like a whisk. It has that consistency to it. So I'm going to start this year by teaching steady beat and have a silly little song. So what I would do for my class is I would say, hey guys, we're going to be learning about steady beat. And since you're in my class, I need you to do something really quick for me. You have less than 10 seconds. I need you to go and grab uh, a, like a piece of cloth, anything you can get, like a napkin, a dish towel, a sock another shirt, I don't care what it is, just piece of cloth, so go, for real, go get it, and do it fast, okay, awesome, I hope you're back, I hope you got something, so my class, I say, okay, we're going to do this silly song, we're going to talk about when you practice steady beat, the song sounds like this, alligator alarm, ah, alligator alarm, ah, alligator owls awake, and look, for my arm ah! and he's got my arm so usually the kids are kind of like cracking up a little bit and so in, in a first grade level I would definitely teach this song and with kids of course I'm gonna say I can see you my windows open I can hear you I know if you're singing but of course I know as adults you know I don't know if you're singing so that's the beauty of it nobody can hear you so actually sing it back to me I'm gonna break it down line by line I'm just gonna echo back what you hear my turn Alligator alarm. Your turn. Second line is identical. Listen, my turn. Alligator alarm. Your turn. Good. The third walks down. Listen. Alligator owls awake. Your turn. Last line. And look for my arm. Go. Awesome. Now, if you didn't sing that at all, that's fine. That might be an ETK class that's just listening to me right now sing the song. But everybody does this part together. Take out your magic patch. That's that piece of cloth that you went and ran and got. Maybe it's that stinky sock. And you put your magic patch on your arm that the alligator owl took. And now we're going to tap a steady beat on our arm and perform some magic to bring it back. Here we go. Tap, 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 tap. Please come back. And ta-da, it is back. <laughs> and so we would repeat that in different ways. With ETK, we do that a couple times on the body and practice that padding. And they could join me in singing, or they might just be listening to me sing that song, but they're definitely doing the steady beat on their bodies. Kinder and first, they're definitely gonna be singing that along with me. And then I would ask them through Zoom to show me uh, different body parts that they want to do. So I pick individual kids and say, all right, what do you want to do? Show me. And they would point and then we do their idea. 
And for second, if I chose this song, this song is a little young for second grade, but I might pair it with another activity and I might do an extension with it so that we finish with this song and say, okay guys, uh, did you notice there was some alliteration in this song? Alligator, Al. Both start with A, it's that same sound. I want you to come up with your own animal and name him uh, a name that starts with the same letter as that animal. And I want you to make up your own little version of this song. Bring it to class next week. We will listen to it and then we'll all tap our steady beats again, just like we did with our magic patch. So that may be a way that I take one idea and I explore it from the youngest to the oldest in my grade level. Again, a lot of humor, a lot of silliness. You can imagine them, the kids are thinking about the patch. They're gonna put it over their head. We're gonna put it on their mouth. So it gets really goofy. Um, I can't wait to meet more of you and I cannot wait to meet your children. So um, I hope you're all hanging in there and we will talk to you more soon, live or video version.